Hi, my name is Pavel and I'm uh, going to create uh, a rectangle class in C sharp. This is an exercise uh, from chapter 10, exercise number 3 from the Visual C sharp 2012 how to program book. Now this class uh, is supposed to have attributes length and width and uh, each of them will default to 1. It will have read only properties that calculate the perimeter and area of the rectangle and it will have properties for both length and width. The accessors should verify that length and width are each floating point and numbers greater than zero and less than 20 and uh, we will write an app that will test this class. So basically what we are going to be doing is a simple class with uh, some private private properties uh, or private attributes uh, however we will also create uh, properties for these attributes uh, instead of just accessing length and width directly we will access them through the properties that will evaluate or validate the uh, the value within uh, or being held by length and width okay so um, let's go to solution explorer and create a class and they want us to call it a rectangle so let's call it rectangle uh, with n and um, within the class let's do the pr uh, attributes length and width and they're going to be a float so we can accept decimal numbers plus they uh, I believe they want us to make it a float anyway. We're supposed to make sure, make sure that they are a float. So um, it's going to be private, float, and length, and private, float, width. And within the constructor of this class, we will accept uh, two values, one for the length and one for the width so we can calculate the area and the perimeter of the rectangle. For both of those calculations, all we need is the length and width. Uh, so our constructor will be a constructor for rectangle and accepting float. Uh, I, I'll call it, uh, I'll call it length, why not? And um, float width. Now mind you that these two lengths and width are not the same as this one. So uh, we are going to uh, actually I believe oh, just a second they want us to uh, set it the length and width by default to one. So we can just do it right here by default it equals to 1 in equals to 1 and now the number uh, will be actually supplied in within the constructor of the class and before I do anything else I'm going to create those properties to, to access the length and width so it's gonna be a property of float and I'll call it length with a capital L and it's only uh, it's a read only meaning that we will only read uh, I'm sorry not not the length I'm it's supposed to be the uh, perimeter and area that are read only length will have a regular get and set so our get uh, our get uh, will simply uh, return uh, this length the keyword this basically it's not really necessary but since I am naming uh, uh, these variables as length and width uh, in order to avoid any confusion which ones which with the keyword this we are referring to the private variables declared within the class so uh, we have uh, our length and now we that will be returned but we also need to set it and within the set uh, we need to 
validated we need to make sure that it's uh, not less than zero and not more than 20 so uh, it's a simple if statement if the value supplied which in this case would be the length supplied with the within the uh, constructor so if the value is less or equal to 0, 0.0 f i'm doing it this way so to make sure that it is a float uh, or the value supplied is greater than 20.0 f for the float then um, we will set the length uh, we could we could do two things we could uh, throw an error or maybe we could uh, you know display a message but i'm just going to set a default value for the length uh, uh, for the length uh, to 1 the length will equal to 1.0 f else if the value is within the range then our uh, length will simply equal the value or the length supplied by the user and passed into the constructor and i'm gonna copy paste this because it's gonna be very similar for the for the width i'm just going to rename this to the to width and that's gonna be a property for our width so now we have the uh, properties now we can do the calculations the properties will be validated if, again if they are incorrect if they are less than zero or greater than uh, 20 they will be set by default to one otherwise we will accept the value supplied and we will proceed and do the calculation and uh, so i'll do a public float it will return a float called perimeter and this this will be the uh this will be the read only property that will simply have a which means that it will only have the get accessor it will not be set so i will do get and uh, within these i will simply return and the perimeter of the uh, uh, of the rectangle is calculated by the length now notice that i'm using the properties with the capital l i'm not using the the variables uh, that we or the, that we declared over here i'm not i'm using them but not directly i'm using these through their properties so the length uh, plus width and uh, it's multiplied by two so we will simply return the result of this calculation and it's going to will be our perimeter and for our area public it's gonna return a float and again it's gonna be just a get because it's a read only so it will return and the area is length the times uh, width so again if the value supplied is correct within the range we will be able to use uh, those values for length and width by calling the properties you know uh, evaluate the value and then if it's okay then uh, you know we will use that value if it's not okay it will be set to one so let's say if both length and width is uh, 21 uh, um, then the value for both length and width will be by default set to one so basically it will be for perimeter it will be one plus one times two and for area it will be one times one so it won't break our calculations it will simply default to uh to one and uh, we will also we can do uh, a two string method so we will override a string uh string uh, two string so we have a two string and in it i will simply return a string and format it to something like a perimeter is 
and um, the first placeholder will be uh, obviously zero and it's gonna be a float with two decimal places and uh, area oops uh, it's not supposed to be and the area is and it's gonna be one with the uh, float uh, with two decimal places and the placeholders will, will hold the result of the calculation so it will hold the perimeter and the area properties and this is this is really all for what we need uh, for this class so now we can go and um, test it so in our main method we will declare the rectangle uh, we'll instantiate the rectangle uh, to new rectangle and we will pass see it's asking us for a for a float for length and for the float of width so well, let's supply some uh, some values and as you can see it is not happy it says the there are some invalid arguments and that's because even though we supplied decimal uh, numbers even if it supplied uh, integers it that, that, will, that would work but if it, um, the reason it doesn't work with decimal it does because it's not sure like if I do it as actually uh, you know uh, in whole numbers but with point zero in it uh, like 11.0 or 15.0 it's expecting a float in other words I have to declare that these are floats so if I press an F at the end it, it would work but let's not make it the uh, whole numbers so let's make it 11.5 and I don't know 15.4 so this will call and create the object of rectangle so it will come all over here it will pass these values to our uh, constructor which now I re uh, realize that uh, I actually forgot to assign these values to anything what we need to do here is uh, to assign these values to our properties that we that we created to our length and our width so our length property the value passed into it will be the length and the width property is going to be the width argument in the constructor that's gonna be passed to it uh, I think I misspelled it it's supposed to be length anyway back to our main uh, method so after we create the object we can simply call the to string method uh, and display the values of the area and the perimeter so we will do right line and we will do the simply pass the whole object rectangle because uh, every object has a to string method so what we'll what we will do it will simply perform the calculations because we have the perimeter and area within the calculations uh, you know the it will call the properties for the length and uh, and width evaluate the values and uh, return the result of the calculation that will be formatted with two decimal places and I need to do a console console that uh, read line just to pause the screen so we can see that so let's see uh, what we get if I run it I am getting the perimeter is uh, 53.8 and the area is 177.10 and you can see they are formatted with two decimal uh, places so let's see let's just uh, make sure those uh, numbers are correct and uh, so if I do 11.5 plus 15.4 times 2 I get 53.8 that is correct and if I do 11.5 uh, times 15.4 uh, I get 177.10 so that is correct it cal the calculation is performed correctly now if I go to my main method and pass a value that is float but let's say uh, a negative in other words it's less than zero uh, 
it will still perform the calculations but remember I passed the uh, passed the length as a negative number so it was actually uh, reset uh, to 1 by default uh, so if I do 1 plus uh, uh, 15.4 times 2 I get 32.8 so you can see that it's correct and if I do 1 times well 1 times 15.4 is obviously 15.4 so uh, and uh, if I do this one instead of 11 uh, oh, I'm still running in the program instead of negative number I'll do positive but uh, greater than uh, 20 then again I should get the same uh, results because again it defaulted to 1 all right so uh, to recap the rectangle uh, class um, we have our private for uh, variables for length and width we initialize it to 1 now we're not accessing these uh, directly we created properties that uh, return val values uh, of length and width but first before they return them they will uh, evaluate the values that were supplied uh, into the constructor and based on that will return the uh, whether it's gonna be one or the actual value supplied we have uh, calculations for the perimeter and the area using the properties uh, not again not the variables directly and we have a two string method that is formatted with two decimal places and uses the perimeter and area properties uh, uh, which basically will return the result of the calculation and in our main uh, method we will simply create the object and pass two floats uh, into the constructor of the rectangle uh, class and again when we pass a number that is less than zero or greater than uh, 20 the they default to one otherwise they are used uh, as is all right so uh hope this will uh, you know clear a few uh few things when it comes to how to create the class and properties how to create uh, read only properties with uh, just the get accessor like we have the for the perimeter and for the area we don't need set accessors because the this is the result of the calculation. We do not set the calculation. We simply perform the calculation and return the result. So if you like the video, please don't forget to like it. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Take care.